can tell, I am doing so much better. Yes, yes, I am. I am home. I got a good night's sleep because I didn't have to worry about cops being in my face. That's right, no cops. Felt so much better. And today is a very, very special day. Very special day. Hold on one moment and I will get set up and I will show you and tell you why it's such a special day. Be right back. My turn, huh? Well, good morning. I have a lot of things that need to be done today. Uh, Anita has asked me to replace some bulbs over at the apartment complex. So I'm going to go over there first to see what kind of bulbs need to be replaced. Then I can run over to Home Depot and replace those as well as pick up some other items that need to be dealt with around here. Uh, like this one. This is the... Uh, um, carbon monoxide alarm that caused all the issues and what it needed was a new battery so I'll put a new battery in that and hopefully that'll stop it from chirping so I was surprised it didn't have a rechargeable system but it doesn't so that's what I'm going to do I need to look at you you're cold why don't you go back inside jeez oh man I also need to get a toilet paper roll to replace the one in the and this quarter bath and uh, what else need to clean this floor there's an entire Kenobi dog of hair in here so I'll clean that all up come on buddy come inside come inside it's cold out there come on come on come on come on what are you doing come on come inside come come on Come on, buddy. You stay put. Come on, buddy. Come on. That's right. It is a very special day because today is Mr. Daryl Dixon, Norman Reedus himself's birthday. He is 48 years old today. That's right, Mr. Norman Reedus. Happy birthday to you if you ever watch my channel. I love you. And here is a special birthday kiss just for you. Mwah! So happy birthday, Norman. I hope you have a great one. That's right, everybody. We're going to make a cardboard baby next. So I got to show you I having a tr trouble getting Angel to come in because she knows I'm going out. And she thinks that I'm going to go home and leave her like the other day. No, Angel. And she's freezing cold, she's shivering, but she won't come in because she wants to make sure that she goes with me. Come on, you little butthead. I'll only be gone for a little while. Come on. Okay, so this table is just too high for me to sit on the couch with my computer on and type. So, Kevin tells me the table cannot be lowered anymore. So I'm going to try and lower this table. Okay, I got the little pegs pushed in and I'm trying everything I can to push down on this table. I even tried like turning these little black things thinking maybe they tightened or loosened it somehow and it's not doing anything. So let's see. Okay, so I'm on my way to the apartment complex in uh, Glendale because uh, I need to see what kind of bulbs I'm, I need to replace. It's in a carport. I hope there's not cars in the way. I have to see. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to go to Home Depot. I need to pick up a couple items. Um, poor Angel misses her mommy, that's for sure. So every time I open the door, she goes right to the gate, ready to jump into the car, to go home. So, but she'll be okay. I'm not going to spend too much time away from the house. I've got too much to do there. And I'll uh, sit down and comfort the little munchkin.
seven. I did it. I don't know if it's sturdy. I don't know if it's safe. But I bounced on it, and it lowered it. So, let's see now. Well, first of all, I want to turn it around because I don't like this little ledge. It hurts my wrists. So, let's see now. Well, it's uneven. <laughs> well, wait, there's socks under there. It's still a little. No, it's not too bad. Ah, perfect. My arms aren't up like this. So with Simon and Thor's help, apparently, I'm going to go fix some things around here. This is the uh, carbon monoxide uh, alarm, and I pulled the battery out, bought some new ones. I'm going to put new batteries back in, and hopefully that'll solve the chirping problem that's been driving us crazy for days. All right, so here's my next project that Aphrodite's going to help me with, right? Um, this toilet roll holder does not work. This has been broken. I've attempted to fix it on many occasions. Uh, eventually ended up just using some uh, epoxy glue and even that gave away. So I had to buy a new one and this is the closest to the set that I could find. And it's just going to be white and it'll work. So that worked out pretty good. I don't like the way they go on. These are actually porcelain and they just slide over which means it'll slide off too. So, But they match relatively well. They're white. What do you think Simon? Like the box? Well everybody, filling in for Kevin this evening is the one, the only, Miss Mojo. <laughs> She's getting her lovings on. Anyway, I'm not exactly sure everything Kevin did today. I know he had to go over to the apartments for Anita and do some work. So I know he did that. Um, you saw me trying to um, lower the table. Shh, don't tell, don't tell Kevin what I did because he'll get upset with me from trying to bounce on the table. And, and um, try and get a close-up here, because Terry Johnson wanted to see a close-up of the earrings that Maven, Megan, blah, that Megan got me for Christmas. So those are the earrings Megan got me for Christmas. Um, I think you all already know today is Norman Reedus' birthday. I gave him a great big kiss earlier. And I think that's about <laughs> cat hair. I think that's about it for today. So please don't forget to like, share, and favorite. And we will see you guys all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now.